friends and welcome to my channel. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we're in the B6 and the Erin Condren and I am doing a budget series and that video will be coming up but I have to get on to September. So this is what the July kit looked like. Um, my total income. I'm enjoying budgeting in my B6 so I'm gonna start with the B6 I'm gonna lay the stickers I'm gonna come back and tell you but let me show you what I got so these are the full kit for the Erin Condren I did a little thing um, I've had this um, toner pen for a while and I had some foil which I forgot I had and I just did I wanted this sticker kit to match my kit that I'm getting from Nikki plus three she unfortunately does not make um, budget kits because I would have just ordered it from her so I just made my own so she has gold foil though for the month of August I tried to match the paper I'm almost positive it's not gonna be a total match but it does have like the blue lines but I'm okay with that I'm cool with it so this is sinking funds August pretty much for August budget weekly check-in then we have, for me, I did me some booth rent stickers for the weeks that I need booth rent stickers, and I actually missed one. Um, bill due stickers, there should be 14 of those, and then I have a goal one, two, three, week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five, and then some more headers, I haven't quite decided, I think that's from the cash envelopes, and then on this one, I have income budgeted, actual expenses budget. You know just the regular that I normally do and this is also is for the Aaron Condren so in the mini it's just the same except for, except for it says August budget y'all my foiling was just a little off a little bit because I had to use the pen to kind of write in and then we can check in but it's just for me so I'm cool with it until I get my um, laser printer and then I have some small bill do stickers here that should fit inside of the monthly part and let me go to the next and then income estimated and actual the same thing that's basically in the Aaron Condren so I said it depends on how this comes out um, if anyone I know Shea makes Shea budget makes stickers for the Aaron Condren Petite and I believe that these would match so I may, if I don't feel like doing it next time, I may buy some from Shay come maybe October or what have you. So anyway, let's get started. Hey you all, so I'm back. Um, this is how it turned out. I forgot to put the total income, but as you can see, I basically used this whole kit. Only thing I have left are my bill due stickers. And like I said, I'm waiting on a kit from Nikki Plus 3. So I'll just possibly throw those extra ones in there. So this is how it looks. This says August budget. Look at that foil. 
and income estimated and actual and like I said I forgot to put the total income sticker I think because I was trying to leave so much more room for my expenses so this is where my expenses will go sinking funds and I really think I want to put my expenses over here next time variable expenses which I kind of don't need and then my weekly check-ins and then I realized I didn't make a week five for the mini but again it's okay but it's looking pretty and then um, on this is cash envelopes item description um, amount date and balance and then oh I just let y'all see a little preview of September because I wanted to make sure September was gonna fit because I downsized this here I realized it's not supposed to go from end to end so I just cut it a little bit so I'm liking that so that's the B6 so next up we have where did I have this in daily sales I think it was in daily sales I don't know well let's just pop it on in there anyway until I forgot where it goes okay so next up we have the Erin Condren I've showed you the kit again I'll fast forward through this part let's get to August Okay, you all so I'm back and this is the outcome I just wrote in some things that I know I didn't want to forget so this is how it's looking so that's the month view my weekly check-in expenses budget total expenses and I'll probably later on go back in and draw a line I have it I just didn't want to do it sinking funds item description amount date and then the total because I was going to put the cash envelopes up under here which I could have so I just had a lot of extra room cash envelopes item descriptions amount and date yeah so this gives you a whole lot of um, space and again, this is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. And then here, so that's leading into August. Um, I think I'm going to use this like as goals and just kind of brain dumping my budget. Uh, let's see. And then I have some leftover bill due stickers. And they just happen to match 
this month so that's good and then I keep these little um, these are little boxes like a reminder and you know what I needed to cover up let me take one of these because I needed to cover up uh, in the monthly view and it's blue so it's perfectly fine and I can just sit there right there okay and then I'm gonna put in goals so briefly, since I probably spread, sped through everything, these are my booth rent stickers. I put those in to remind me. I don't need a reminder, trust me. So on the second, I think that's a Wayfair bill. And then on the fourth, I know it is Amazon and Apple. Amazon, Apple. And then Schedulicity. And then here on the 11th is my car note, number one. I should make a sticker for that. And then on the 15th, this is something that's due. Oh, I think this is um, Capital One. So I paid it off, but then the rental car that I had they had taken the deposit, they gave me my deposit back, but then they took the 30, I thought I got the car free, I don't know. So the $35 came back on there, so now I have a $35 balance, and then I charged something that got paid off the rest of my cell phone bill. So here on the 17th, what is due on the 17th? Oh, that's Simply Gilded and the Gym. And then booth rent and I should just go ahead and write in my total should be a total box there and then on the 19th is the along with my hobby 20th North, um, North Carolina Navy Federal Credit Union but what I plan to do for the credit union loan is get them like $50 a week and by the time the 20th come I can skip that payment because it'll be paid up and then go back proceed on the following week because my car note is due that day as well and then here I put a reminder pretty much to renew my license um, my hair license my cosmetology license um, it is it expires on September the 17th so I put it here so that I can remember to pay that and then on the 28th 20, 28th the 28th is my insurance car insurance life insurance and all that jazz oh I forgot Aflac so we're gonna put Aflac here on the 16th my last bill do sticker I may need to make some more of these you all it is like 12 o'clock at night everybody's gone to bed I'm filming because I just needed time to myself so let me put um, Aflac and I know that I can pay that on Saturday. So I'm using my whole kit. And this is what I was looking for. Like no sticker wasted. Like everything I printed, I needed. Now the only thing I think I didn't need was them extra boxes. But I think I was just filling up the page. So I'll go in and do my expenses, my budget. Um, my expenses are the same as last month. Again, I list the most pertinent. Most pertinent is car note number one. Car note number two, since I have more space in here. It is 18160, 18160. And then car insurance. Here lately that has been that's car and life insurance it's been 219 I just keep putting car insurance because that's the main thing it's on there um, we have let me whip out this book so I can tell y'all better and I'll go back in and fill this one in later let's see Cash all the books. I need to find that main page 
Okay, the sale bill. So I kind of got an idea of what my sale bill is going to be. I'm going to put 285 Ridiculous. Shoot, I wish I didn't have to have it. Um, Affleck. That is 30 and I may have to check on that. That might change because um, I was supposed to sign a paper and I forgot to keep it the same. And that's not what it's supposed to be. So it may be less. Amazon is $12.99. Apple is $0.99. Cent. I mean, we know this is in dollar amounts, but I like to see the dollar, you know what I mean? So, Apple, Capital One. I should have put that up with pertinent Capital One. Um, my budget for them this month will be 50 And then, uh, Simply Gilded. Okay, you guys, sorry we got cut off, so I stopped at the gym. That's the last place I was at. Um, let's see. Um, loan, I'm going to call it loan number one. That's for and slash Acura. That's 100. And then booth rents. I'm just going to group that all in one. So it is five weeks this month. So I have five booth rents. So that's going to be, should be 1050 That's what I have to pay to have somewhere to work. Okay, um, I don't have Wayfair down here. Wayfair, I have to give them something. I think that's due on the second. Yeah. So my minimum on them is 28. I'm going to try to give them 50. Okay. So we'll come back, see what the total is. Go ahead and add these totals up. So far, what I have... Okay. 181.6 plus 181.6 plus 2,210 dollars and 17 cents. That's what I got to pay out this month. So school is going back. I necessarily really don't do children's hair, but baby, let me tell you something. When it's hard times, I will French braid a poodle, dip his little toes in some polish, some snip snips, some burrettes, whatever they need. So I'm hustling. Now I did make a, well that's not going to be in the month of August, but um, I gotta get my back on my posh. You know, I haven't been working my posh like I used to. I was doing pretty good with the posh mark, so I need to go back to working my posh mark. But it kind of costs money to make money on posh mark because I have to do my little, go on my little hunts for deals. So thank you all so much for watching. This is my monthly budget. Um, I'll fill in this income. I think that's another way I can get around if I'm being kind of watched is just list, you know, my budget separately of what I'm making, but then I can just list um, here, you know. So we'll figure it out. But here it is. Oh, and I didn't put in my goals. Goal number one, you guys, first of all, I want to bring my income up to, I want to make $1,700 dollars a week because that, that felt really good that was a nice soft spot for me uh, goal number two pay off credit cards goal number three is pay off loans all right so 
there you have it I hope you guys enjoyed this budget with me and me setting up my budget in both places thank you all so much for watching if you're new to my channel and you want to see how I budget on a regular basis or anything else that comes across my channel I would love to have you I'd love to welcome you to the code so I would love for you to hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload content thank you all bye